Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 30, Nasdaq flat, S&P's off 20, gold contract down $33, trade at 19.01 an ounce. We got silver down 52 cents, $23.73 an ounce, light sweet crude off three bucks. $99.16 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note. Up 25 ticks, trading 119.23. 30-year up a full point and 19 ticks. 141.22 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 4, 543 ticks, trading at 101.763. The Euro's at 107. The Yen is at 127.95. And the British Pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One that's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to bring up the futures first, folks, because this has been quite a day. There's no doubt about that. Quite a Friday on the way down. You know, you get the SPY as well as the NDX 100 and confirmed ABC structures down, and they haven't hit their price projectives yet. So when you're taking a look at this, the, the S&P themselves, okay, today, this is the third time it's trying to, well, it, the third time it actually did get into the positive. And guess what? Each time it's failing. And right now, the longer that it stays under this uh, 42.53, <laughs> the more probability is that you don't have to go back to the bottom because we don't have a high volume low. But bottom line is that this thing can get down to 42.16 at about a heartbeat. And at that level, you know, bottom line, you just get a sideways move in the marketplace. And I expect that's what we're doing. We're building cars here, folks, for lower price. We gotta take a look at the um, NQs because the NQs were stronger today than the ND than the S and P's. Bottom line, the NQs are still up 21. When I when I started the update, they they were up 85. So pretty intense, man. Uh, that being said, what you have with the NQs? See the NQs when we just took out the the, the spike from this morning at 10:30 this morning, market tried to make it, gave it up. NQs went from 13446 all the way back down to. 13,243, you know, so you went down 200 points. Well, guess what? We just took that out, failed on the takeout, and you had volume come off the highs. So bottom line, my take, this, this, these NQs could actually go, go back down to a 236, which is another 125 points from where we are right now. So you're talking about an intense market out here, no doubt. Gold. Talking about intense, they whacked the gold market. Bottom line, you, they whacked it with volume. You get uh, 215,000 contracts out here. And I believe we're going into, we're going into a couple hundred thousand, but this is still not a great setup. Yeah, we're going into 215, we've done 215. And it hasn't held price. That's saying that, guess what? You can come all the way back to 1857. You know, we broke topside at 1870. It's, it's, that's game. That's the bottom line. It's going to be, if we go over to the good old dollar and we take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see with the dollar, what's sticking out like a sore thumb, is the 102.979. You know, we got, uh, you got an expansion up. I take this, we put this on a three or four year. What you're going to see quite clearly is that that's what it's going for. That, those highs up there, 102.992, 102.979. That's where these babies are going. Some of the higher volume equities out here today in this market, you know, we came down Friday with some good volume. Uh, Twitter, yeah, so you got Elon Musk, uh, e TWTI, is taking Twitter private at 5420. You gotta love the number, right? 5420. <laughs> um, this is gonna be a trip, man. I mean, because the bottom line is this is how, you know, the bank is a greedy, he's greedy, whole ball of wax, and we'll see whether that was the price to pay for Twitter. You know, uh, when you take a look at it, man, he's going to have to grow that thing like crazy for the price that he paid. 
But he convinced the bankers that, guess what, let's do it. Because when you take a look at this, look, you, you, last year they took in $5.1 billion, and they brought $0.20 cents to the bottom line. They're claiming this year they're going to take in $6 billion and bring $0.72 cents to the bottom line. Now, that's quite an expansion. I'd love to know how they're going to do it. Hey, we'll see if they do it. Because right now, what he paid is that it's somewhere, I'm not quite sure, well, if you're looking at my screen, you get the estimated P.E. and then the P.E. He's paid somewhere between $72 per dollar of earnings at 141. I'm not quite sure which one to, to look at that right there. But the bottom line, he paid a lot of money to take it private, and that's gonna be a cash deal, so more than likely that's, that's gonna go through. That's how that works, folks. So it's a cash deal, bottom line, it's gonna go through. You can see the market itself, what is it? I think it's like three bucks underneath it. Actually, $2, $2 and something cents. Um, you know. And if you're in Twitter, right, this is the way that you should look at this, right? If you're in Twitter, I would be selling Twitter. I wouldn't go for the last, you know, it's, it's 50, was it 54.20? I wouldn't go for the last $3 here. And the reason being, as you can see how the market has got smacked, Twitter hasn't got smacked because of the fact that he has a number on it. But if this deal doesn't go through, and it, even if the market didn't continue to lower, Twitter would dive in about two seconds and dive in quite a way. So, you know, depending on w w how you're holding, I would not be holding for a couple dollars, particularly on uh, an Elon Musk deal. Some of the other higher, some of the other higher equities out here, higher volume equities. That is, you have. Uh, let's see. You get American Airlines down thirty four. Exxon's off three three and a half three dollars and ten cents. Netflix is down eight. Ooh, man, that's a trip. Let's go pull up Netflix. N F L X. This is talk about taking a beating, man. Yeah, this is, you know, the low of last week was uh, 210, you're 207 right now. You, you, you know, you contracting with volume, and you should be contracting with volume because the, of the way this went down. But bottom line is that um, you have no buyers. You have uh, sellers, and guess what? You need buyers for equities to go higher. Dow, Dow Industrials right now flat. NASDAQ is uh, up 23, uh, S&P's uh, up, no, down 12. Come right back, folks.